Okay, so this is how it looks in the ETL, which is looking nice. Look at this. It's looking nice, actually. Yay, perfect with our convex prompt. It's really a good alternative for Sonnet 4, which is cheaper. Okay, this is a nice layout right here. We just need a few prompts to fix some other paddings. So we're going to try this uh, King EK2, the new model right here, which is quite promising because just today, get ready today, and it's already consuming 169 million tokens, so it must be good. Now, here to check whether this model and being the same level of Gemini 2.5 Pro or Sonnet 4, we can have a look by using this complex prompt right here to create an instant directory. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab a copy of this, paste it to a blank notepad like this, and here we took a sample listing related to law firm. So we will create a directory using the law firm Google Map categories. And we downloaded this. Now, this is how it's going to look like when you downloaded this from GFAS Scraper, convert it to XLX, and then make sure you fix the column address info region. There are some shortened state names. So for example, California, you will see some shortened version like CA. So you have to make them in full name. So our listing will be properly displayed in the directory that we will be creating. So here you just need to populate these configurations, law firm team. So what we need to use is the Kimi K2. This is a folder name, so there shouldn't be spaces or site title. Law firm in the USA, custom post key, just use law dash firm and custom sonomy will be state. Key name will be law firm team. So I just put the same as the folder name, but this time you can have space because this is just a team name. Directory Google Cat will be law firm, directory country USA. Okay, let's go ahead and prompt this. So we're going to set up a local WordPress. Click this create new. I'm using local WP, so you just go to Google, type local WP, and download this software so you can easily set up a WordPress running in your local computer before you upload that to the actual server. So we're going to set up the site. So here we're going to name it as law firm. All right, once the site is installed, make sure you click this. So when you click the WP admin, it goes straight to the dashboard. So there you go. Now, in order to have our theme here in the appearance, let's vibe code the directory theme. So click this VS code. It will open up your site right here. So click this climb and here, make sure let's use the proper model. So we're going to use open router here, going back to open router, copy this model and you paste it right here. All right. Now we're using the Kimi K2. Oh, okay. And let's copy everything. I'll paste it right here and let's wait for a few minutes and see whether it can get our prompt in one go. So again, we're using Kimi K2. So look at this guys. I think it's complete. It's just listing the summary of what the model did. And we spent 0 0.3, which is not bad. Now let's go to teams. I think that it created all the required files we requested. Now it's time for us to see the WordPress team. So going back to our local WP, click the WP admin. So here we go to teams and this is going to be our law firm team, Kimi K2. Let's activate this. Once it's activated, we just need to install a couple of plugins to complete our directory. So first, let's install the advanced custom fields. I'm just going to install and activate this plugin. Now, once it's activated, go to field groups. And here we should see the sync here. I'm not sure why it's not appearing. Let's go back to our teams. TCF is here. For some reason, I can't see it here. So let me just ask help from. All right. So I think Kimi K2 already fixed the issue. Let's now go. We should see the sync right here. There you go. Sync available is there. So we click that and we click import. Now we're ready to upload the listing. Before we upload, we will add another plugin. So click add plugin. So this one is a custom plugin that we also created to easily upload our listing. So it's available in the link below. So you can download it. So I'm just going to browse that. So let's click on install and let's activate the plugin. All right. Now, once you activate it, you can find it here in tools, XLSX importer. Now let's browse the, this listing that we were fixing earlier and click this upload and parse file. Now select custom post type, which is law firms load fields. And here you will see the WordPress core fields. You just need to map the content to attributes, featured image to main image. So we will have the featured image each listing. And here, what's nice about this in ACF, you don't need to do anything. All these are mapped by itself. So what we just need to configure is the taxonomy mapping because we will be categorizing by state. So the first parent category will be the region, which is the same as state. So just select state here and the children will be the city. So select the city and again, select state here, click on start import. So let's just wait for a few seconds for this 100 listings to be uploaded. So 15 listings have been uploaded so far. You can 
Now view the website even if it's loading. Just make sure you don't close this while it's completing the upload. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click and open link to a new tab. And this is how it looks, our listing. So when you have your hero section image, it will be loaded here and also the logo. And here we just need to fix the padding of the state listing. But as you can see, popular law firm around USA, it is nicely rendering the listings right here. And let's have a look if this one is working. So I'm just gonna select Alabama and it's loading the city. It works perfectly fine. So let's do one of the listing. Click this. All right. So this is the listing. It has all the available features. This is the description and we have the business hours, which is good. View map. It's there. So this is a good alternative for Sonnet 4. It's cheaper and it does the job pretty well. Let's go to New York. Okay, so this is how it displayed the cities in New York. It's just not looking good, but you can always ask this to be fixed by Kimi K2. But the fact that it followed the instruction, complex instruction, that only Sonnet 4 and Gemini 2.5 Pro were able to follow correctly, and now Kimi 2, Kimi K2, it's able to follow as well. But the thing is, you just need to fix the styling, which I think you can just prompt Kimi K2 to, to do that. Now, let me again check one of the state. Go, let's go to Minnesota and let's go to one of the cities here. And this is how it lists the in city level. Let's go to another state. I'm just looking for multiple listings in one city, maybe in uh, Nevada, two law firms in Las Vegas. Okay, so this is how it looks in the Italy, which is looking nice. Look at this. It's looking nice, actually. Yay, perfectly with our convex prompt. It's really a good alternative for Sonnet 4, which is cheaper. Okay, this is a nice layout right here. We just need a few prompts to fix some other paddings. But overall, it looks great. Yep, I think uh, that's about it, guys. So, hope you get some insight out of this video and see you on the next one.